Hi, and welcome back to another Nikki Uncut. This is episode five. Um, let's do my makeup. I have to go to work in just a few hours, so I'm gonna be doing a simple makeup again. Today is, for me today is Monday, um, Monday morning. It's not even like super early, it's only like 10 a.m., but I work in a couple hours, and when you're watching this, it will be Tuesday. So, hello to Tuesday. Let me know how it's going so far. I'm gonna start with my base. And for my base, this is one of the drugstore foundations that I picked up for my huge drugstore foundation haul. This is the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh or Clean Fresh Skin Milk Makeup. This is the shade Medium Tan. There's a lot of writing on this. It just kind of like, <laughs> there's a lot going on on the cover of this. This is really nice, I have to say. My dog has a package that he's chewing out. He was sleeping a second ago, but as soon as I hit record, he finds something to like start chewing on and making noise with. Anyway, my skin's prepped. I have my sunscreen on, my lotions, all those things. So this was a standout for me out of the 45 foundations that I tried, that I purchased and tried, because it feels like nothing on your skin. Like literally feels like nothing. Super breathable, super lightweight, and just very like fresh. It has like a nice fresh feeling to it. So pretty much perfect for like those nine to five days or <clears throat> those days where you're just running around town and you just want something like just easy and lightweight on your skin. As usual, I'm applying this with a 106 from BK Beauty. One of my favorite brushes for like multitasking. I'll probably even end up putting my cream bronzer on with this brush as well. It's just one of my go-tos. So let me catch you up on some life stuff while we're here. While I have you during this Nikki Uncut, let's talk about some life stuff. As you may know, I've talked about this quite a bit. I um, probably like last month at this point, maybe two months ago, I lose track of time very easily around here. But, um, very recently I was, I've talked about my struggles with like a skin rash that I got out of nowhere. I chalked it up to being caused by stress. My skin and my hair don't handle stress very well. And I seem to always be under some amount of stress in my life. So, um... I'm proud of myself. The reason why I'm talking about this is I'm proud of myself and I think you will be too. I'm proud of myself because I made an appointment to actually go to a dermatologist. So I'm very excited. I have a, an appointment tomorrow, actually, tomorrow late afternoon. I'm going to see a dermatologist who was highly recommended to me. Let me put my Tower 20 concealer on while I'm talking about this. Um, he was highly recommended to me. He's in Los Angeles and... I made an appointment and I'm very excited to see what they have to say um, about my skin and what could be causing it. And just to actually sit down with a professional in that field, you know, like not, you know, stop self-diagnosing myself on the internet, stop Googling it, all those things that we're, we know we shouldn't be doing, but we still do it anyway because we can't help it. Maybe I'm speaking alone. I feel like I'm not speaking alone when I say this stuff, but you know, I'm doing the right thing and I'm really proud of myself as cheesy as that sounds because for me I'm kind of the type of person that unless it is life-threatening I will sweep it under the rug until I have time so I made the time for myself finally so anyway I'm gonna definitely keep you all posted on how it goes what they say, can you tell I like this concealer, by the way? It feels amazing all over. I love this so far. So far, I'm still testing it, but so far, love this from Tower 28. And also the shade I just put on is K-Town, um, number seven, K-Town. I'm gonna tap this in with a 110 from BK Beauty. But yeah, so I'll, I'll let you know how it goes and hopefully I get some answers as to why my skin has been just not very happy lately. So tapping this in and just 
getting certain areas nice and highlighted. As I mentioned, I'm going to work after this, so I'm not going to go for a, you know, we're not going to go for a, a night on the town type glam. We're not going to go for anything dramatic. Just to be nice and simple and just every day. The other life update that I have to share is I got, or I purchased a really cute and super fun scooter, electric scooter. And I have been living it up on the scooter. Let me tell you, I take it around town. I take it to Starbucks. I get an iced tea. I partially spill it on myself as I'm riding my scooter back home because I don't have a cup holder yet. It's still on, it's still in route from Amazon. But I'll insert a photo of my electric scooter that I purchased that I have just been feeling like a kid again on. It is so cute. It's bright yellow. You can't miss me. If you see me driving it down the street, <laughs> I hope you get a good laugh, but it's just been so much fun. It's actually sitting right in front of me right now and it's tempting me. It's saying, don't go to work today. Just get on me and take me for a joy ride and let's go get coffee. But anyway, it's really fun. My sister is the one who who got, who got, gave me the idea to get this scooter. She picked up one that is like way more sturdy and heavy duty than mine. And I picked up like one that's like a little bit smaller, a little more like compact in a way, also a little bit cheaper, but hers is bright orange. So it's like just hilarious when you see us driving down the street, getting coffee in it or on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of light bronzing with the Rare Beauty bronzing stick and Happy Soul. And you know what? Let me do my, my lip like I usually do. Okay, another life update that I, I have, um, that's been on my mind a lot lately is, I think I'm allergic to spinach. And let me tell you why. Every time I make a smoothie every single day, pretty much every single day, sometimes not on the weekends because I eat out typically, but during the week, I make the same smoothie every like Monday through Friday. I put a protein powder in like a vegan protein powder. I'm not vegan, but I put a vegan protein powder in. I put um, a huge handful, honestly, probably two handfuls, as much spinach as I can squeeze into my blender cup. So two big handfuls of spinach, usually um, frozen dark cherries that are just, oh God, they're so good. Filled with antioxidants too. So, you know, good for my skin. Um, I do a tablespoon of almond butter for like healthy fat. I do a tablespoon of chia seeds, also healthy fat, more protein, fiber. You get where I'm going with this. And then what else did I put in it? Almond milk for the base. Sometimes a teeny bit of frozen pineapple for like that extra fruity kind of vibe. And then blend it up, drink it every day. But I noticed every time I drink the smoothie with, and so spinach I've had in, in my smoothie for like, I don't know, the last probably three months. It's been in there for a while. I'm gonna powder my under eyes really quick while I'm talking about this um, spinach the spinach story. So every time I have one with spinach, I notice that <clears throat> I have to do that. Like my throat, I have to clear my throat a lot. And I notice that like my nose kind of gets runny, like I get allergies almost. So I was looking into this, of course, because as one does, just with like all ailments, we self-diagnose as I talked about earlier. So I looked into this and Apparently you can have a, a histamine allergy, like there's histamine causing foods. Um, don't quote me. I'm loosely looking into this right now and learning about this, right? So if you know more than I do about this, please leave me a comment below. Cause I'm very curious about this. Cause I had never heard about this before in my life. So you can have a histamine allergy and one of the biggest foods like histamine allergy causing foods is spinach. So I don't know if that is uh, something I should eliminate. Kind of sounds like I should eliminate or just maybe switch to a different form of green. Like I like to put a ton of greens in my smoothies because I feel like I don't get enough throughout the day, like in my diet. So 
Anyway, if you've heard of this histamine allergy, please let me know because I am just so, so curious to know more about this. All right, makeup is set. I am powdered. Before I put, actually, yeah, before I put blush on, I want to test out this Fenty highlighter. I know it's a highlighter, but I want to test out what it looks like as a blush. So I want to add it to my skin as just like a fresh, pretty blush. Let me just find a blush brush and see if I can wear it on its own, basically, as like a, just a really pretty glowy blush. This part right here, the darker part. So this is the Kilowatt highlighter from Fenty in the shade Girl Next Door, which is the lighter one. And the deeper one is Chic Freak. So pretty. So I'm going to get a bunch on a Refer 24 brush. Let's get these cheeks blushing and glowing. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. Absolutely, positively glowy and stunning and exactly what I was hoping for. Just want something like just light and fresh, like blushy, but not too blushy. You know what I mean? Just something kind of in between. Mm. Very pretty. I love Fenty highlighters so much. Okay, that is gorgeous. Kind of bringing it far up. A little bit onto my eye, around my temple, sweeping it across my nose. Hmm. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So for eyes, I picked this up recently at Sephora. It's from One Size. I posted about it in my stories. I bought two. They were 50% off at that time. I don't know if they still are. I, um, I think they're actually sold out because someone... A couple days ago, someone told me, reached out and told me they were sold out. So they might be hard to find. And I'm sorry ahead of time. But this is the one size matte eye popper. It's a smoothing, creamy eyeshadow. It's basically like an eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow base. They're tinted so you can wear them alone. Or you could put, wear them as like a, a base for the rest of your shadows to go on top. The shade that I have is Battle Ready. And Battle Ready is a really pretty neutral, like deep khaki thing. So just... A perfect neutral tone to either wear by itself or to just act as a base. I'm going to start with this and I'm probably going to blend a little bit of an eyeshadow in the crease just to bring it out even more. Because again, it's a simple makeup look day. Heading to work. Don't want to be too, you know, don't want to have too much going on. So I'm going to blend this out with a BK Beauty 206. So what I like to do is tap it on first and kind of lock it onto my eyelid and let it dry down a touch before I blend it into the rest of the crease because I've noticed you can kind of spread them out just a little too far and I'm not trying to get it all over my eyelid. I want to try and keep it just onto my eyelid and my crease. But if you go to blend it out all the way right away, like after you initially apply it, it can be a, a, a touch on the messy side. So patting it in, it's just such a perfect color. And now I'm just gonna go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion and just blend it into the crease. Just slowly kind of spreading it out, taking my time. Look how pretty that is. It's just simple and pretty. So I've been using it nonstop in my makeup kit to prep my client's eyelids. So I wish I got more. I, I feel like I should have bought like four of these. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to love them as much as I do. It was um, kind of a spur of the moment decision. I saw they were on sale. They were such a good deal. I mean, 50% off is like a great deal. But like I could just stop there and just wear this as like a simple, natural... Eye makeup look but we're not gonna do that because you know I like to add a lot more pizzazz to my makeup so I'm gonna take one of my favorite 
bronzers. This is from Make Beauty. This is the shade Lunar and just with a BK Beauty 201. This is like my Monday through Friday go-to. I love putting my favorite bronzers in the crease of my eye for an easy, very cohesive, simple eye makeup look. So just buffing that into the crease. Starting on the outer corner because I want to have a little more depth and a little more color intensity on the outer corner of my eye. And then blending whatever's left over up and across my eyelid, across the crease. I'm just kind of sweep it down my nose just so I have like a little faint connection right here. Same thing on this eye. And I'm going to show you what else I love to use this bronzer for in a second. Oh, just so simple, you know, just clean, minimal. I think I'm probably going to play up my lip a little more today because I have a new lip liner that I'm obsessed with that I'll show you, share with you in just a second. But it was recommended by one of my followers who knows how much I love milk chocolate from Makeup by Mario. I love that pencil so much. If you have not tried Milk Chocolate for Makeup by Mario, you are missing out. But so they knew that I love that pencil. So they recommended, are you ready? Cool Brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we're gonna put this on today and I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is. It's, it's honestly just as beautiful as Milk Chocolate from Makeup by Mario, but in a different way. So they're both, they're, they're unique for sure. You definitely need both in my opinion. They're both beautiful. Now switching my brush, I'm going to switch to a much smaller pencil brush. This is a 230 from Zoeva. I don't know if they still make this brush, but any pencil brush will do. So what I do is I take the same bronzer and before I skip to the next part of this application, I'm going to just round out my eyes and apply this on the bottom lash line. This is again, one of my signature moves with makeup. I always do this. I, I love some neutral brown shading on my bottom lash line. It just, it like brings my eyes to life, if that makes sense. It makes them look bigger, rounder, more open. Makes them feel more confident, you know. All those good things. So now, same brush. I'm gonna go over that little bit of the Rare Beauty cream bronzer that I put on my lip line earlier. And what this is gonna do is set it. It's gonna lock it down into place and it's going to enhance it even more. And the reason why I do this, and I know I've explained it quite a few times, but if you're new here, first of all, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Um, I should say that more often because I get a lot of new subscribers and I uh, I don't address it enough. So if you're a new subscriber, welcome. I so appreciate having you. But I love to do this because it just, it's like my pre-lip lining lip liner is the, the most simple way I could put it. So it brings out my lip line before I even put lip liner on and it makes them look more naturally enhanced. Trust me in person, it's pretty much undetectable. It's like, it just creates a soft little shadow of definition that makes my lips appear fuller. So it's a little like makeup artist trick. It's been around for a long time. Scott Barnes does it to this day on JLo. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on my top lash line. This is Mambo from NARS. And uh, Kevin Aquan was the originator, I believe, of that technique. So just tight lining. Perfect. And then we're gonna take a little bit on the outside, just a touch. Again, I'm going for less is more with this eye makeup look. So I'm gonna try to stop myself from going for my 
more longer and dramatic wings that you know I love to do. I'm such a wing eyeliner girl, I cannot stop myself. It's just my favorite look. I'm gonna take this cute little old Real Techniques um, angle brush. I believe this came in a set, or it de definitely did come in a set, and I, I think they still sell this at like Target and Walmart. I think I've passed by and seen it. Um, just an angle brush, any angle brush will do. And I'm just going to lightly spread. And I'm saying lightly. <laughs> light pressure just to spread that liner a touch more and just soften it so it's kind of a little more blurry a little less intense it still gives me that really subtle lift and that little subtle wing effect Now, I do, I do prefer to set my wings during the day because I don't want to have any, I don't want to see any transfer from my eyelid to my crease. And that happens a lot if you have hooded eyes or if you have more um, like oily eye eyelids, <laughs> oily eyelids, I can talk, I promise you. Or if it's just really hot outside and you're sweating, you don't want to get that transfer from eyeliner on the lash line to the rest of your eyelids. So I'm going to set it with a little bit of a deep brown powder. This is from Milani. You know, I love this drugstore eyeshadow palette so much. This is called Whiskey Business from Milani. So I'm going to tap this off and just press this onto that eyeliner that we smudged out and it's going to lock it into place. I'm using this really dark brown right here. It's simple and effective. I mean, this is definitely like a signature Nikki look right here. <laughs> Cute. We're getting there. And then a little more to go across just a little more. Perfect. Let's check for symmetry. Let's say we're pretty close, close enough to move on. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Ruffer Lash Curler. This is one of my favorite lash curlers, this one and the gold Shiseido one. That one I keep in my professional makeup kit and that one is just, these are both just two of my favorite lash curlers. Okay. Good, good, good. For mascara. Let me show you this primer that I've been loving. This is the Lancome Booster XL Lash Primer. This, I've never really been into lash primers to be totally honest with you, but this one is changing my mind. I'm really, really liking this. So I've been putting this on as my lash primer and really seeing a difference. It definitely thickens up my lashes quite a bit, almost to the point where it's, it borderline clumps them. So you have to be careful especially at the end, my lashes tend to get really clumped together. So just be careful with how much you're putting on. But it's definitely making quite a difference in the overall thickness, not so much the length. I'm not really seeing a difference in length at all, but the thickness of it, of my lashes, I see a big difference. So for those days where I'm doing a simple eye makeup look and I want my lashes to kind of be more like impactful, and more like the focus, it's really nice for those days. For mascara, I'm gonna let this dry down, but when I get to mascara, I'll be doing my favorite One Coat Wow from Huda Beauty. Now, while that is doing its thing and drying, I need to grab my new 
I have a new pencil from Kosas. And where is it? I bought two. I bought two because I thought I was going to be obsessed with it and use it every single day, which I have been. But now I can't find my open one. So let me open my, my backup one. But this is the new Kosas brow pencil. It's like a micro pencil. It is such a fine, fine pencil. Look how cute and tiny this is. Um, I'm so happy they came out with this because their other pencil is a lot thicker, a little more, you know, like a, you couldn't get like a, a precise brow with it. In my opinion, it was just more of like a thick pencil. So this is just the complete opposite and it's fantastic. I have the shade black and it works really, really well. It's like a very soft black. It's a little micro pencil. I'm going to use this to fill in my brows even more and draw on individual hair-like strokes. It's just so good. It's so good. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. Love it. Makes it so easy. Okay. Let's get to mascara. Let's do the One Coat Wow. Now that my lash primer has fully dried down. I skip the bottom lash line during the week and anytime I'm doing a natural eye makeup look, I just skip the bottom. I've talked about this too because, well, first of all, it's really hot outside, like I've mentioned many times, but also just the likelihood of it transferring and leaving that smudgy mascara look throughout the day is really likely for me. It just, it's, it's very highly likely, I should say. So I just skip it because I don't want to deal with that look. So, and it just looks nice and clean and simple without it as well. I'm going to add a touch more blush. I lied. I want a little more blush on my cheeks. I'm going to add Bloom from Persona Cosmetics. I love Bloom so much. So much. It's so beautiful. Let's add it with a 107 from BK Beauty. And we're going to just pre-blend it on top of my hand because I'm going on top of a powdered base and a powdered highlighter. So I want to make sure it doesn't disrupt that product and it just kind of perfectly places it on top gently. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Just a little more blush for this simple daytime glam. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh my God, Bloom is such a great color. And then whatever's left over, I'm just going to go sweep it across the nose and a little bit across the forehead. Okay, now guess what time it is? It's time for Cool Brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can't wait to show you this color. Okay, Cool Brown. Let's do this lip.
process, so just hang in there with me. So once I get a decent amount on, I'm going to grab a blending brush, <clears throat> just a little lip brush from LH Cosmetics, and just soften that line. You could also use your fingertips for this too. And then I go over it one more time. It's all about the layers. It's just such a good color. I'm, I love, love that shade. Now I have some new lip products from Milk Makeup. They sent me the, their Odyssey, is that what they're called? Yeah, Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. These are really nice. They feel really moisturizing. They don't feel like sticky, like an actual gloss. They do feel more like a lip oil. The shade that I'm excited to try is Work Trip, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm about to go on a work trip now. I'm about to go to work, but it's kind of fitting. So it's like a really pretty light pink. Oh, yes. This is my kind of lip shade. I love pinks like this. So perfect for what I'm doing. Just heading to work. Want a simple makeup look. I think we achieved it. Let's set this makeup. And I have really been enjoying this Milani Cosmetics setting spray. I've been using it almost daily. It's the Make It Last original formula. I really like the original formula. They also have a matte. They have a dewy. The dewy, I'm not a huge fan of. The matte is nice. This one's just my favorite. And they also have one that has SPF 30 in it that I popped into my purse for when I'm on the go. Just for like some little extra, you know, SPF reapplication. Helped, any, any little bit helps, right? Okay, so let's set this makeup. Woo. And then I have to head into work, but it was so nice hanging out with you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for choosing to spend your Tuesday or whatever day you choose to watch this Nikki Uncut. It just happens to be uploaded on a Tuesday. So thank you for spending your time with me. Whatever day it ends up being that you choose to watch this video. Wish me luck at the dermatologist. I promise to keep you all posted. It's going to be a big, hopefully I'll get some answers and hopefully I'll get some like insight as to what's happening. Um, but either way, I'll keep you all in the loop of what's happening. So this is the look, and um, as I just powder a little bit more, I will see you all in the next Nikki Uncut. As always, don't forget to like this video if you like this format, or if you just like my videos in general, give it a thumbs up, it helps out my channel. It also helps out my channel if you subscribe. All those little things add up, and they definitely make a big difference. So if you do those things, I'm sending you a big air hug, and I appreciate you. I um, hope you have a great rest of your week, and then I'll see you on Saturday when I upload again. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.